Hey guys, um, it's JC the Sniper here again, this time with a gun related uh, review. And I'm going to talk a little bit this time about a mod that I made to my Glock 19 uh, not too long ago that I really liked. And so I'm just going to talk a little bit about that. Um, got my Glock 19 with a Glock 17 mag in it right now. Um, which is kind of cool. I like it. Get a couple extra rounds and it sticks out a little bit. Um, I probably wouldn't use that for concealed carry, but it's just a cool feature that the mags are swappable on these. So, anyway, um, I have previously safety cleared this gun, but I'm going to go ahead and do it on camera. So, empty mag. Empty gun. Alright. So anyway, the mod that I made to this thing is I swapped it out from the standard, um, I think the standard is five and a half pounds of trigger pull on the Glock, and I put in a lighter three and a half pound trigger connector, and I really like it. Um, it's really weird the way this thing works, because this is the only piece you replace to take it from the standard pull to that three and a half pound pull just this little piece of metal and I was looking at them and they're almost identical I mean I can't really tell how it's getting that lighter pull with it and I was like you know I, I bought it I'm looking at them I took this one out I'm comparing them and I'm like what the heck is it, how in the world can this work but I put it in there and it is immediately noticeable the difference so um, I really like it but it just gives a little bit um, I mean, you probably won't be able to tell on camera just because you have to try it for yourself, but it makes this uh, first part of the pull just softer and then just an easier pull all the way back, and I think it breaks a little bit crisper now um, than it used to with the standard uh, trigger uh, connector in there. So, I don't know. I just like it. It's uh, a little bit lighter pull, and it's just nice and crisp off the end. I think a little bit crisper than it used to be. So for me, it's easier when I'm trying to shoot accurately because I can pull right to that edge of the brake and then have the trigger brake right when I want it to. And it lessens the amount of flinch that you get when you're shooting. So um, I've really enjoyed it. And it's not that hard to put in. You can put it in yourself. Um, obviously, you strip, field strip the firearm. You don't have to do anything with the slide. Take that pin out and push both of these pins out. And then the whole assembly, you can you pull this block out, pull this out, and the trigger connector is right here. You can see the uh, the tip of it is right there. Um, so you just pop that right out and. Uh, pop the new one in and it's as easy as that and you know that's pretty much it so you just kinda gotta wiggle that little trigger connector out of the spring that's holding it put the new trigger connector well this is the old one but put the new one in there and uh, then put it all back together pop the pins back in it took me about five ten minutes to do this uh, from start to finish so not real difficult to do and I think it's a good modification um, to make to the weapon. So for those of you who prefer a single action weapon, um, this is going to take you a little bit more to a single action feel um, because it gives you a little bit more crisp trigger pull. Uh, just makes it, it feels a little bit more like a single action. So if you're a fan of you know, your single action revolvers or whatnot with that real crisp trigger pull on them. You're probably going to like the three and a half pound trigger connector on here a little bit better because it just feels crisper to me. Um, however, if you are a fan of double action pulls, I would say you'd probably want to stay with the stock connector. Or maybe even swap up and try to change, make it a little bit higher. I know they sell trigger kits to make the uh, pull a little bit tougher. So for me, I really like that single action feel, and I like the way it's gone. Um, 
But, you know, your mileage may vary. Maybe you don't like that. I really do, and I think it's a, it's a modification I would recommend. Uh, it definitely makes it easier for me to shoot this gun. Takes a little bit of getting used to, but um, I think it's it's going to improve my groupings in the long run, I would say. So, anyway, JC the Sniper with a little bit of a Glock mod video. Signing off.